Good afternoon, people. Just arguing with the camera. <laughs> Not the wife, the camera. Anyway, PJT and M rate my beer. As you'll have seen, it's a Vault City Double. Uh, these were part of eight um, that came when we were away yeah. in the old Brucer box. I know we've had our disagreements with Brucer, but we're kind of friends again at the moment. At the moment. Touche, touche. Give it time. Yeah, give it time. But yeah, there is a link as well if you want to get eight beers. That's in our description where you get £10 off which we do as well. Um, it's a good mix with them, isn't it? Uh, we're obviously doing a, all the sours again, aren't we, with them? Yeah, we, we wanted to give it a good go and try some different stuff. I haven't sort of looked at Vol City for a while, so it's going to be interesting. Yeah, we were huge fans when you used to get the bottles all the time, yeah. but some of these cans... The, the cost of some of the Vol City is quite steep, and I didn't always feel it was totally justified. But we will see with these ones if they are still holding their own. Yeah, these are not the big hitters. We've gone for two 4.8s yeah. on this one. I think we've got eight beers, so we're doing more than two to ba yeah. balance them up rather than bore everyone senseless with eight reviews that no one will watch anyway, by <laughs> Michelle. And um, yeah, this is a lemon drizzle, uh, driz drizzberry cupcake, um, and that's the blood one. orange raspberry. Yeah. Um, there is write-ups on it, but if we stand there reading all the write-ups... Yeah, this one classes itself as a modern sour beer. Yeah, sour modern beer. sour beer. I mean, for me, a sour beer is a sour beer or it's not sour beer. All this modern sour beer and this smoothie sour beer is a complete load of rubbish. Um, look at Simon. Over 10,000 reviews. Real craft out. Do check his channel out if you yeah. don't know. Most do, in a way. But um, he knows his stuff and he knows what a sour was and what a sour is becoming. And they're trying to make them trendy and appeal to younger people and I get that but then it's a smoothie not a sour yeah I'm really big on this if, if something's like a fruit smoothie or a milkshake or something it should be classed as that yeah. that's not sour beer you know, but, even an IPA sour now I mean come on you know it's a sour it's not a sour yeah. it's not an IPA it's a sour it's not a modern sour it's not a smoothie sour it's, I don't know it baffles my head and it boggles my mind but yeah, so these are not two of the big hitters. If you check our unboxing, I actually, oh, we did the unboxing, didn't we? Yeah. We actually went through them all. So I've only got one Vault City glass. So, well, we have got two, but we couldn't actually find it. I'm trying to show you the pour, but. Hmm, looks all right. Obviously, you know with these, you've got the to get. The smell on this one is not enticing me, to be fair. This is smelling rather sweet. This smells like. I'll have to drink a bit. It smell that, it smells really good. Cool. I'll have to drink a bit before I can get it on, but that is looking prominent, isn't it? Look at that. It looks absolutely lovely, this. It's a wonderful kind of um, orangey red colour. Even the head has got a pinkish tinge to it. I oh, swirled that around. Close. But the, the aroma on that one is not enticing. Put it up to your nose. Now there's that one, which is your blood orange raspberry. Smell. Sorry, you can't see the front. Michelle's not good with that. It doesn't smell nice, does it? Oh, it smells like something. It smells like cat pee. It smells like something. Some, some form of vegetable, I thought, just going off. Um, okay. Okay. So we address that first, or should we address... I'm going to address this first, because the aroma is really off-putting. Um, the artwork on the can it's is... It's not a great start, is it? Odd. God, Jesus, why don't you try that? Ah, okay. Let's get on with the blood orange. Blood orange raspberry. Okay, I'm kind of picking up the citrusy notes once I get past that. Give it a weird. ponder, give it a ponder, come on. Okay. We were huge Vault City fans, but it has changed. Um, you know, I knew Jacob um, at Hackney Church to do another sour beer because yeah. he's the only one that consistently delivers and you can yeah, say what you does. like, but fact <laughs> is fact. Every single one of his That's sours consistent. is a sour and it's decent. <laughs> right, what are we going on this? Tastes better than it smells. I hope so. You yeah. are picking up on a bit of grapefruit in there. Um, it isn't sour for me. It's definitely raspberry running all yeah. the way through it, and it is actually quite nice. It does have a a little ping, but not enough. But it is only a four point eight, so I will, I will give them that. Um, I, for me. A 440ml can, by the way, both of them. Right, for me, I'll say one thing here. This has come out too late. In the summer, on that a hot would, day, that would yeah. flow down. You're not feeling any alcohol, really, in it. Mm, and it, no. is, it is, it is. I've got to say, it's nice. This, the smell 
and the taste would, are two different to, things here. Yeah, I would go on that as well. It definitely tastes better than it smells. You are getting the citrus buzz in there. There is definitely some grapefruit. Yeah, there's raspberry. In it's there. prominent running through it. Um, that's nice. But it's not overly sweet either, which can be a problem. Yeah, but but the, 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 the main problem is the sour hit on the end. It's there, but it's just it's not there. Enough. It's not enough, but it is a 4.8. It's For this it's, so called it's, modern it's sour beer. It's just a, a, a fruit beer. It, I wouldn't class it as a sour. It's not sour enough. Okay, let's go on this one. Oh, yeah. This is God. this is going to be difficult. This one because this, this is going to be smells really sweet. Very sweet. I've had a little oh. taste off the top of the can. Okay. It, was, it was, I don't know. I only had a little bit, so. I can't tell tell. So looks absolutely lovely. Look at that in a beer of Debongo glass, by the way. UK glassware. Actually, when it comes to sweet and sour, that delivers a little bit more than what that does. But again, it's the sour so sweet hit, on the end, isn't yeah, it? The sour hit is not there at all. Um, there's a little bit more. Yeah, you want to get that bottom in. Always got to get the bottom in yeah. these things. I mean, so many people, they sit there and they do their reviews and you're like... Yeah, you know, I've had, I'm actually seeing the colour change yeah. as you're pouring that in. There's nothing wrong with it. And it is just a worry. I yeah, can get that's that. exactly what it's saying. It, it has the lemon. It's itself cupcake. So just with yeah. that description, you know it's going to be sweet. Freshly baked lemon, lemon cupcakes. Chat with blackberries and drizzled with sweet mm. vanilla icing. Yep, that's pretty true. Juicy mm. Scottish fruit pairs perfectly with fresh lemon juice and zest. Yep, there's that all in it. And you're tropical lemon, undertones from our mixed fermentation base beer. The addition of lactose creates a creamy mouthfeel. Yeah, this is pretty true. They're right, haven't it? The lactose gives it, gives it yeah. a fuller mouthfeel. Um, not everyone can tolerate lactose, so... It probably wouldn't be a good one to drink a lot of. Um, for me, the jury's out on this one. It's doing exactly what it says on the can. It, it, you've got the vanilla there, you've got the lemon, you've got the blackberry. But there is, having another go on that and a bit of a bigger go, you are getting somewhat of a sour hit on it. That's why I said it. In the sour department, I've started it to deliver at first. A it was not existent. Bit more sour than that one, this yeah. one. But it was not existent the first sip, and I thought, that's not great. I mean, these, these for me are like kiddie beers. Yeah, Sorry. they're not. <laughs> they're they're not going to blow your mind away, are they? I mean, it's like Michelle will complain about a beer, but then she'll always drink it. Whereas to me, some of them, I will do the review, and I'm like, well, you can have that afterwards. I'll but, pay for it, so yeah. I'll drink it. Yeah, but I don't take that philosophy. I don't think it's worth sometimes putting the alcohol in your body because some of them are that poor. But these are not poor. And they're, they're, it's a really hard call. There will be a market for this style of beer and I think that they're going towards your cocktail drinkers, your younger people. Um, well, yeah, put a large vodka in them. Girls, Bango. girls that go out and don't... Party, yeah, just girls. Drinking beer. This is the kind of beer that is aimed at that sort of market for me it's a little bit of a, a, a cop out it's a real I, I can't really call it beer it's not beer it's they're kind of a cocktail style are. mix of drink again going back to that after that one I'm thinking I prefer that one and, and you're not sure that they're not bad they aren't horrible um which ones are for obviously? That's a tough one. <laughs> I couldn't decide that way, but they will appeal to Despite a market. The taste. the taste is actually quite fun on this, but the, the, the smell is just real off putting for me. And Mark, that is why you smell things. Yes, Mr. Ponder. He's not going to watch 9 minutes 36 of this. Mm. Mm. Out of the two, I prefer that one. And even that is getting a bit. Making my teeth itch, it's, it's kind of sweet. But she will drink it. <laughs> so it's not that bad. 
that, that, it's a real tough call, this. I'm not the sort of person who sit down and eat a slice of cake, or I'm not a sweet person. <laughs> That's got more of a sour hit. It does have more of a sour hit. But I prefer the flavour of that one. Of that one. Because you do like grapefruit, so I'm, I'm not surprised that that I think it's got more you. raspberry grapefruit. Yeah, I'm, I'm not getting, picking up the raspberry I'm not that. getting the, the grapefruit really? bitterness. It's, it's the really... zestiness, but then we're all different, so... Yeah. You know, when I say raspberry, it could be strawberry. They're quite the same. Obviously, it says raspberry on the drink, so you know it's halfway got raspberry in it. They, they use a lot of raspberries, don't in, they? Individual Hence people the really do have different ways. Uh, the, the body actually processes different tastes in different ways. Uh, there's a certain percentage of Asian people who coriander tastes like soap to them. Yeah, no, it's it. So, it, you I'm, know, it's, it, it's not the same for everyone. I'm going to I think, don't know what to do. and I'm double yesing them. them, and the reason I'm double yesing them, yes, just, and I'm double yesing them. Do you know why? They have good flavour with them. They have good taste. You know, as I say, I'm, I'm going to go on a double. I'm six. on a double seven. Um, and would I buy them again? Do you know what? As I say, they, they, for me, they've come out slightly too late. But remember, these are the lower range of that Brusa pack. Uh, and the 4.8 ones but we've had some Volk City from the supermarkets that have been yeah, appalling although really they're bad. meant to have improved um, they've gone to kind of away from the sour effect because I don't know some people don't like it I can't it's get a, that it's a real niche market isn't it but yeah a fruit beer would probably describe it better. better but yeah. as I say it's a double yes and rather than I do you add in anymore that's the coolest one because way over the time <laughs> bonjour <laughs>